Hey guys, welcome back to Objective Reviews. My name is Nikhil and it feels so good to say that sentence after a very long time. Uh, as you know, iOS 12 has recently released or has been out for a while, depending on when you watch this video, and brings in a new feature called Password Autofill for third-party apps. Now, Password Autofill has always been available within Safari using iCloud Keychain and syncing if you have that enabled. But now iOS 12 enables third-party apps to do the same directly integrated into the system. So today we'll check out how 1Password does this simply because uh, I'm a 1Password user and I prefer this app over all others. But if you use any other such apps, and they have also integrated uh, this feature into their own app, things will work pretty much the same way. So let's jump on to the other side and check out how to get 1Password all set up for using this feature. So when you first launch the new 1Password, uh, what you wanna do is go ahead into settings and you'll see a new option called Password Autofill. You wanna go in there and turn on this toggle. Now, because I have already done that on this device, I'm gonna show you how that looks on the iPad right here. And once I toggle it on, uh, it's gonna tell me that notifications are disabled because I was trying to set it up a little earlier. And so I'll just go into notifications, 1Password is right at the top and I have enabled that. Come back into 1Password, uh, let's go into that screen again. And there you go. It'll automatically copy the two-factor codes uh, that are set up inside 1Password to uh, the clipboard when you're using autofill from 1Password. Now, uh, now that this is set up, we wanna go into settings and make sure that everything is set up there. Uh, so you go into your settings, passwords and accounts, and you have the new autofill passwords, and you can select uh, iCloud Keychain if iCloud Keychain uh, syncing is enabled from your iCloud account, and you can have both on at the same time or only one of them. Uh, so let's just have uh, one password on, and you do need to toggle on autofill passwords. So that's all done. Now coming back onto the phone, uh, let's get you guys a quick demo of this. So here we are in Safari and let's just go to uh, Floatplane and as you can see it is ready and asking me to log in using uh, the account that 1Password already knows about for this particular website. So if I say use that, it is gonna take Face ID in my case. If you're using the iPhone 7, 8 series, it's gonna ask you for Touch ID and that's it. You're all logged in. So it's really, really simple uh, to use once you have it all set up and the setup process is not that difficult. Uh, it's just a few uh, toggles that you need to turn on both in 1Password and inside the settings app. Now the same is uh, feasible on the iPad. So let's open Safari and here I am, but I'm already logged in. So, okay. Uh, Floatplane uses uh, fonts, web fonts for their icons, which is a very bad idea. So I don't know what's what. And okay, once you come in here, let's go back to the main keyboard, bring that down. Okay, so on the iPad, it will come right above the keyboard and it won't show you the uh, toggle itself. I'm guessing this is reserved for uh, the new iPad Pros that are likely coming up later this year uh, with Face ID. And if that's the case, uh, it'll show you the same kind of a pop-up. Uh, let's uh, tap that. It's gonna ask me for Touch ID. There we go, and sign in. So as you can see, it's really, really simple uh, to get it going uh, once you have set it up both on the iPhone and the iPad. Another interesting thing that Autofill now does is uh, say you have a bunch of accounts for Google that, like I do and you have one of those as a favorite. So now that account is the one that is shown to you first for autofilling passwords with. Now this account also has uh, two-factor authentication enabled on it so let's see how that works. And one, uh, the one-time password has been copied to the clipboard. There we go. Uh, it's going to ask for password again because that's how uh, Google and Apple rule, even Apple does this. And because the one-time password has been automatically copied to the clipboard, I can just go ahead and enter it there. And that's it. So it's all good. I have already done that, uh, Google, so no need to remind me. And there we have it. So with uh, the, one, the new 1Password one update, 
all of this process becomes very very easy and previously it was a huge hassle if uh, especially when you had two-factor authentication enabled on your device and you had to manually switch into one password or you know if you're on the iPad use multitasking to enable it and get it up there then go into that account copy the 2FA token and then come back to Safari and then fill it in and as you can tell it is exhausting to even talk about it so it is very very tedious to even do it on a iPad or on the iPhone. Now that one password can seamlessly integrate into this whole setup it is beautiful unfortunately uh, where it does not work is if you're in uh, settings and then you go to iCloud and for some reason it asks for your password out here or when you're purchasing an app in the App Store and it requires you to enter your password that is where it will not work uh, same with iCloud Keychain it does not work in that instance all right and one last thing if you use uh, the one password app regularly uh, one thing you'll notice now in the new update is that there's a new font uh, for the passwords itself it's still a uh, monospaced font which is really cool and as you can see it's different it's designed by Alan Green if I am getting his name right uh, let's add a few numbers in there and by the way guys this is not really my account so please don't go trying this <laughs> in me in uh, the Apple ID website and as you can see it's uh, really really nice it's still very legible and uh, let's go in and increase the font size here and there we go so it scales beautifully and I'm so glad that one password supports dynamic type and it updates instantaneously so it's very easy to set up very easy to use and makes using one-time authentication tokens very very easy and seamless so there is absolutely no reason now for us to not enable one password tokens uh, if uh, you know services offer that and if that's the case you should definitely go enable it and if you use one password you can have this seamless integration like we just saw now i should also uh, probably tell you guys that i am this video is not sponsored by one password especially because how highly i'm speaking about the app and the service uh, but hey one password uh, if you're listening to this or watching this and if you want to sponsor a few videos get in touch uh, so with that out of the way uh, if you want to know more about the app uh, or what the service is or what a password manager does, I'll leave links to their apps and their website in the description. You can go check it out. So while you're down there, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, let me know down in the comments what you disliked about the video. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be releasing more videos about the iOS 12 update and how various apps are using the new features that it brings. Uh, so if, if you want to watch any of that, uh, stay tuned and stay subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.